Hey guys, it's me. I just wanted to touch base and let you all know how well things are going. Everyday Miriam is everything I thought it would be. Views are outstanding. I gained 800 subs. People are watching. And you know what? It's so nice to have a community of kind people, not like the haters in those rooms that they sit in and steal my cat. You know what? This is the last time I'm addressing this, but... Uh, what are you doing? I'm just clearing the air. Clearing the air? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well... So you don't get it either. You don't get it. Oh my god. I you don't get it know. either. I, 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 I mean, what about me? I'm Steve, Mark's around, and this is Smokey Steve and Mark. Welcome or welcome back, and happy Thursday. Here we are with another coffee break. So we're checked in most recently on Sunday in our live. Sunday, 6 o'clock, we're doing Foodie Beauty Lives. And um, we, we caught up a little bit then, but now for the midweek, it's nice. I can just share a couple thoughts on a, on a picture of what's going on on the channel and um, see if we can make heads or tails of it. So thank you all for being here. Um... We'll just start at the very beginning. It's a good place to start. Now, if you saw the um, intro to intro uh, before we started, one of the things Chantal did this week that jumped out at me, among other things, it's her dishonesty and entitlement, and it's on full display. I mean, she left a ton of details all over the place that really painted her in a bad light. As if it was a good one before, but she did all the things that would make someone scream doubled down on being disrespectful to people because if other people are disrespectful to other people then she can be rude to anyone and it, it's been so hard to be her so rough to being a victim the whole time and then when she thinks there's new people that don't know who she is they already start to kind of buy that a little bit then they just sit through one rage chat and they leave so why i was so curious to see that on an idle afternoon she got 800 new subscribers in the middle of a period where there was Minimal growth, views weren't higher, there was actually some stuff that was deleted and taken down and some views that disappeared, and yet 800 come. Now this is not, I don't want to be picky, but this happened before. Um, if I have the thing, I'll put it here, where she had in one day come into 600 subs and the next day they were gone. So I won't assume I know too much about the situation uh, right now where she got her subs, wink, wink. Um, if they all disappear within a short period of time, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, but I would be interested to wonder from Chantal, the last time this happened, was that buying subs too? Because if you're going to buy your own trophy, you might as well just do whatever you want anyway. If you're going to make content, buy subs to make it appear that more people are interested than they actually are. Then what are we really proving here? We're going to shut off the comments because they're all nasty. We're going to hide the thumbs up and thumbs down because they're all thumbs down. And then we're going to modify all these other, hide all the evidence that she might be not doing well. Now, if you go over to Sh Social Blade at the moment, you'll see, because I was over there nosing around for stuff, that her channel grade is a D minus. Now, Social Blade is not the end all be all. Even I look at our numbers and they're not reflected the same in Social Blade. But it was a mark that she had done something similar before. And again, I've seen other YouTubers do it. Some, I think, get really excited about the goal, like the 10,000 or the 100,000 or whatever it is. And if you get close, 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 I think if you start to feel entitled to it, you'll go out and buy yourself some subs because you think, what's wrong with them? They should be subscribed anyway. And then purchase those to show the other people that 800 people who didn't exist all of a sudden now are there and love the content. Meanwhile, for other creators, she's saying it must be all bots, must be this, must be that. Sure, Jan. Sure, Jan. So, um, ill-gotten gains. I'll tell you what happened to me. Now, when we were, we were monetized, and it's been very slow. Like, we hit 1,000 when they had that meter you had to hit. And then we've been a slow and steady kind of channel since then. Um, and I was trying when we were new to go into, they had... AdSense paired up, but you could go into your video and you could pay to have it put in front of different people. 
So you could see the views. You could see where these people were coming from. So I go in and I, I spent, there was campaigns, and I think I thought I would spend 10 and I spent 60. And a video that was only going to get, at the time, probably 110 views got maybe 1,000 or so. I didn't realize that I was paying the way I was paying. I thought it was flat, but no, it seemed to escalate. So by not knowing what I was doing, I screwed myself over there. But what did happen is that I picked up a lot of subs. But when you looked at my metrics, I was huge in Vietnam. Huge. Big deal. So, tons of them. All the subs came from abroad. If they commented, it was in broken English. Um, so I didn't really feel like, yeah, we grew the channel because we basically bought the subscribers. You know, if it, you're going to buy any subscribers, you might as well just... How inauthentic. To say nothing of dead accounts, when they do those wipes, sometimes quite a few things come out. So, I don't know, just saying. It would be good to stay honest with that kind of stuff. I mean, if you're so damn sure that you're right and everyone's wrong, then why don't the numbers go up steadily on their own? Why don't views continue to go up? Why do reactor views continue to go up and their channel size continues to go up and... The only content she makes is yelling about it and being a bigot. And so, as to bigotry, um, so this week, it was more of the forefront. Every once in a while, Chantal has an issue where people call her out for being a bigot, and lo and behold, she provides the evidence herself. Um, so she was going back and forth with French Fried Girl, after she was never going to discuss this ever again, gets on her community posts and finds a place where French Fried Girl, who is Jewish, or Jewish ancestry, um, had said something not so nice to DC Media Girl, and it was calling her a goblin, using the same language. Now, Chantal takes that as a green light that anybody can say it. Because if, if two black people can call each other the N-word, every other white person should be able to, too. It's like being in on it. I remember they call it now something like code switching. Um, it doesn't even have to be that specific. Just in-group language between people. And so if two Jewish people are going back and forth, one of my exes and his bestie were Jewish. Holy shit! That they'd been locked up! They were having fun talking about their experiences of life and their heritage. They were not doing it about somebody else's. They weren't telling somebody else about themselves. They were talking about themselves and making j jokes and jabs that they would get because they're part of the same group. When you come from outside the group and say, I should be able to use that word too, fuck what, go, go, go. No one's going to follow, so just, just go. That kind of behavior, you know, there's a couple kinds of ignorant. There's like ignorant, I didn't know better. And then there's ignorant, I was corrected, and I don't give a fuck. I'll give you ignorant, not know better. So my step-grandmother, Atlas, she passed away. It's been, it was pre-COVID. It was a while now she's been gone. 93 when she passed. Married my grandmother, or my grandfather. That would have been wide open, huh? Married my grandfather when he was like 70 and she was 65 or something. And my grandfather passed, and of course she's still part of the family. And she got... Mark and I, she understood. We always used to end up sitting at the dining room table or talking in the kitchen while everyone else watched Frozen or whatever the holiday movie was, and we would just bullshit and stuff like that. And she was like, you know, it was so nice with your grandfather. It was just nice to have a companion, you know, just someone to, and she liked the word companion for Mark and I. She was like, you know, because we weren't looking to get married or have kids or have a family. We just wanted, she got it. At the same time that she got it maybe more than anybody, she deadpan asked which one of you was going to wear the dress. She was accepting enough of it that she had already accepted that somebody was going to have to be in a dress. <laughs> and just asked which one of us was going to be in it. She didn't know. She had a heart of gold. And she, she would have wanted if she had lived. Um, so she didn't know. And then brought it to her attention and she did know. I don't go for the old, oh, he, they're just a product of their time. The products of your time burned crosses. Go. Go. So... Ignorant didn't know any better. Well, we talked and, you know, in, in as respectful a way as I can. Um, you know, I had another conversation, a more complicated one, at work. There was a family member, um, a mother of an individual with an intellectual disability. And during the conversation we had, she repeatedly called her my daughter. That's a bit of a, oh. I am not going to correct a mother about how to talk about her daughter. Um, 
but I chose not to use that word during the conversation. She still knew what I meant. So um, am I going to change the world? Her issues in calming were bigger than language. <laughs> so as a priority, just to triage everything out, um, that wasn't really high on the list to do. So language changes. Identities change. The words we use to describe ourselves and each other change over time. Chantal kind of dipping into that and saying, yeah, I know it's bad, I don't care, I can say what I want, about whoever I want, for whatever reason I want. And she tries to rely on the fact that people will think, oh, she just didn't think about what she was saying, it was impulsive, it just blew out of her mouth, whatever. Whatever. But it really does for me kind of bring it back to, I grew up in an area that was entirely white, small town. We weren't country, uh, but we certainly weren't city. We were small town kids. Um, and there was no people to be racist about. It was just not the way I grew up. Um, and then as, you know, I left the place I grew up because that's a great way to learn sometimes to leave where you're from and see how other people live. And, um, and that's cool, but that can flip on its head because then you have folks how many bars did I sit in? Old white guys. And I was pretty drunk, but I could hear this. If they call themselves that word in all them rap songs, the end this and the end that, why can't we all say it? Why do you feel compelled to have a right to use a slur? What makes, what about you, That is that principled? Is that noble? The hell's the matter with you? Anyway, you reap what you sow. Buy your subscribers, sit there in your diaper, Pretend your husband's over there. Tell everyone we're jealous. You know what? Without... I'm really not. I'm really not. And it's not just because she's fat. Well, happen is she'll hear all this stuff about her character and write it off as people saying she's fat. And then try to rally a mob of say, look how bad they all treat me. Look how terribly mean to me they are. Maybe that'll fly with the 800 new subs, but I don't know if it's going to go with the bulk of the audience who are dead accounts and trolling trying to help her die a little bit faster. And she doesn't understand that she plays right into it every time she has another chicken leg. So thank you all for joining me today. Thank you all for watching. It was a little bit of a sensitive topic, so if you hung in there, thanks for staying. Please do subscribe, hit the notification bell. You'll get alerts when we have new videos and go live. Uh, we're on X, Facebook, Instagram, all that's in our contact info, all that's below. Thank you, and we'll catch up with you very, very soon. Y'all have a good night. Be respectful of each other and respect yourself, and we'll talk to you soon. All right? Bye. Say goodbye, Mark. Bye. Hey, girl. Oh, yeah.